Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fun Friday Ideas with me, Mama Fox, <laughs> Susan, your speech-language pathologist. Today, I really want us exercising those critical thinking skills, and a great way to get that gear going is to get your child engaged in challenges and figuring out different ways to do something and how to tweak it a little bit and then how that affects what we're trying to do with that end purpose goal. So today, since it's a rainy day, I was trying to think of something to do inside. Many of us has probably exhausted the number of indoor activities you have, but I bet you haven't thought about breaking out some of the tape and putting that on the carpet to create different challenges. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna break out the tape. If you don't have tape, feel free to use maybe some ribbon that you can lay down and some strips of ribbon or strips of yarn. That could work too, just something that can kind of mark on the ground. So we're gonna need some ribbon, we're gonna need some different containers, and then we're gonna need some stuff that your kids can throw. All right guys, some of the things I recommend for throwing are gonna be like these fun sponges because they're super soft. If you have any sort of exercise balls or things like that, think about different weights, different sizes, different um, textures, things like that, that would all affect how well you can throw it. All right, let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about with these tape challenges. All right, so first things first, you're gonna to wanna to get your child involved with the different challenges and the different bars that you're going to set. So you're gonna go ahead and figure out where we're gonna put the buckets. I would recommend only putting out one bucket to start with. Save the other one for later, because that's gonna be a challenge later. So the first thing we wanna figure out is how many, how far should we go from the bucket to take our first shot. Should we take one, two, three baby steps? Or should we take two monster steps? That was three monster steps, wasn't it? Oh, Miss Susan needs to learn how to count. Anyway, so start off with just doing steps. That way, at least it kind of gets our kids' brains warmed up into what we're doing here. So all right, we're gonna do two, three baby steps. Take your tape. Mark it on the ground. So we're gonna throw our sponge first. Let's see, can we get it in from two baby steps? <sighs> that was too easy. I think we need to push it further back. All right. So now, what kind of steps are we gonna take from this point to cause, to make a bigger challenge, to get further away from the target? All right, well, let's see, how about we take three bunny hops. One, two, three bunny hops. All right, there we go. Let's mark this one on the ground. And if you have more than one kid, then we're taking turns from these different spots. All right, now we're here at the three bunny spot. And you know what? Let's throw it like a bunny. Let's get down like a bunny. How does a bunny throw? One, two, three. I got it in. Awesome. All right. Now, let's think about how we can make this a different challenge, okay? Not only can we vary the distance, but we can change the target. This target's pretty big. What happens when we make the target smaller? Now we can try it from that baby step line. Oh, much harder to get it in now. But the target isn't the only thing that we can vary. <laughs> Is that we having fun, Mookie? Are we having fun? The target's not the only thing that we can vary. We can also vary what we're throwing. What happens if we use a ball? What happens if we use a much larger block? Now this block doesn't even fit in there. How's that gonna work? What are we gonna count as being a right answer then? As you can see, the tape is also very easy to pull up after for cleanup. <laughs> Thank you, Mookie. The tape is very easy to clean up and pull off the rug. So that way, after you make your little marks and your different challenge points, you can go ahead and easily pull it up to clean off. So again, think about what kinds of challenges you can create with your child. Get your crazy pants on <laughs> and see how you can change the differences to make the challenge harder, to make it easier. Maybe we missed from that one spot, so we need to push it out, we'll bring it closer. How much closer are we going to bring it? Think about these how questions as you're going through the challenges. Think about 
the how does a bunny hop, how does a snake slither, show me. Again, making these challenges to really work their brains and to think in different ways just to get a sponge and a box. How many different ways and how far will your child go to, to create that, to meet that challenge? <laughs> As you can tell, it's a winning game because even my dog wants to come play. All right, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's activity. Let me know in the comments below what kind of challenges you came up with with your tape, your buckets, and your floor. All right, guys, feel free to send me some pictures too. I'd love to see what you're doing. All right, so until next week, take care, bye.